What's good YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about side chaining, uh, a popular technique that's used uh, in music production to create a pumping or a ducking effect. So whether you're a, a beginner or an experienced producer, understanding side chaining can take your tracks to the next level. So let's dive in. So first, what is side chaining? Side chaining is simply the process of using the output of one track to affect the volume of another track. For instance, in this video, we'll be looking at the kick and the 808 and the, the bass. And I'll be showing you three techniques that you can use to side chain uh, in Air Force Studio using stock plugins. So, so the first technique I will be using a limiter as you can see here my my kick is already routed to the mixer track and my 808 is also routed to the mixer track and my bass that I'm using from uh, Sakura is also routed to the mixer track so on my kick what I'm going to do is I'm going to unmute that I'm going to go down here side chain to this truck okay I'm going to go to the limiter here now on my limiter I'm going to go to compressor right select uh, the side chaining one so you can drag up or down I'm going to drop down the threshold And instead of uh, using my ratio, I'm going to increase the knee all the way to the full. And I'm going to adjust the ratio. So let me play the track. So as you can see, uh, the the 808 is being uh, side chained so the the purple color here is where the kick is side chaining so if I drop this down all the way down and play that So you can use the ratio or the the knee if you prefer. So I will reset this and let's let's try using the ratio. So you need to set the attack at the lowest. So it's already at the lowest. And the release time, you can just adjust it according to <coughs> the wave form of the kick. So yeah, that's the first technique. So the second technique uh, is a simple technique, but um, it might look complicated. Uh, I have a peak controller loaded on my kick channel right here and the EQ loaded on my uh, 808 so you don't really need to side chain the kick to the 808 so this just works automatically so it's going to be linked so what you need to do is I'll be using uh, Two techniques so the first technique is with the first uh, parameter here I'm going to go to it and I'm going to link controller pick and accept it's very important I'm going to drop the volume knob all the way back 
Okay. Now let me play. Nothing is happening, right? So I'm going to increase the the bass until it's level, right? All right. So now we're getting that ducking effect. Then I'm going to. Okay, let's just let me drop this. I'm going to increase uh, this right here to adjust the shape. So I think. Okay. Gonna take it back all the way back up to. Okay, it's level. Gives you that boxy effect and so and the decay is how fast the side chaining is So you can play with the knobs, adjust the knobs to get that effect. So yeah, so if you change this right here, it's going to give you, it's going to give you that type of uh, shape. So it all depends. You can try it out, see how it sounds with the whole beat and yeah, you're good to go. And the final method that I wanted to uh, show you is uh, on my bass. This is a very simple method. So I'm going to load up gross beat. So yeah, so you have to load up a gross beat. On gross beat, you have to go down right at the bottom here. You're going to find side chaining. So on gross speed you can adjust the volume of the side chaining. You can adjust the graph to suit the the peak size. So yeah, let's, uh, let me play the whole song with the side chaining on. So yeah guys, so these are the three techniques that I wanted to show you. So I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to stay updated on future videos thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one